there's a difference, I suppose, between um, telling people what they should believe, saying, hey, it's Christmas, then everybody should celebrate oh, and- it the way we do it, and then saying, you know what, you do you, but meanwhile, as for me in my house, as for us in the Christian community, this is how we're going to do Christmas and, and not shying away from, well, I suppose, the full um, spiritual and, and biblical significance of it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, in some religions, if you were living in that culture, um, you have to follow the religious practices or you would be ostracized. Mm -hmm. With Christianity, uh, it's got certainly failings in this, no question, but it's a religion of personal choice. You cannot be born a Christian. Yeah. Uh, You have to choose yourself to respond to God's love shown through Christ. And so in that sense, Christian faith is is individualized, whilst those of faith obviously then can live and work out of community together. So yes, people are free to make of Christmas what they want to, um, whilst we would maintain that keeping the Christ in Christmas is only sensible and logical, and that there's a history. So for example, take Tom Holland, um, a secular historian. You know, he recognizes as a man in Europe that actually he's not uh, European. He's Christian, even though he's not personally Christian. Yeah. His values, his culture, his concept of freedom, charity, kindness, care for the poor, equality, all come from the Christian faith. And so I would say even for secular New Zealand, these are festivals in our cultural calendar for a reason, because the values that we have got from them are expressly Christian. These are worth preserving. Now, uh, the... um... The Hope Project Christmas, this is something you've been doing for a few years now, encouraging uh, people, particularly in the Christian community, of being Mm. intentional in uh, introducing or um, highlighting nativity scenes in terms of the the decorations, what they're doing in social media, uh, all those sorts of things. Been, Been a good response from the church, capital C, generally? Dude, it's been outstanding. Yeah, I mean, I I think tens of thousands of Christians have done new things. And uh, you've got people doing stuff on their house, so the nativity is in view. You've got brass bands with the Salvation Army on trucks again. Um, You know, um, carols in the car park, the truck drives in, there's carols for people in that community. You've got got billboards, you've got lighting displays, you've got um, churches together winning um, the Christmas float float things and the, you know, the annual parade. Um, honestly, the, the innovation across the nation is actually really exciting. We've got stories coming out of our ears and really uh, very little platform to tell them. Yeah, God's people are amazing. It is super good. And um, look, if people are listening in for this, uh, yeah, just because the malls have got their decorations up, it's it's actually not a bad time to, as a church community, say, hey, what are we doing for Christmas this year that will highlight the the biblical story of the nativity and lots yeah. of ideas are available i mean you say there's there's not a platform big enough for all of the ideas that are coming through but there's certainly some good starter ideas people can check out on the website yeah absolutely altogether.co.nz forward slash christmas and uh, on there we've simply been collecting ideas from individuals businesses churches and churches together so people can come in and let's just make the nativity visible everywhere so that new zealanders cannot deny this is an expressly christian festival even if they're not personally of christian faith and at the same time let's sing those carols they're the most loved of all christian songs and let's tell the stories because that is actually the purpose of a cultural festival Uh, dave this is such a simple idea of of putting christ back into christmas and highlighting the a nativity story, um, but it's one which can, I suppose, have an influence, uh, reach that sort of tipping point where when people think Christmas, uh, Jesus is a part of their thought process, not just the guy in the red suit, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if churches are invisible, then Christianity must be dead. If you only hear bad stories, Christianity must bring bad. But if Christianity is visible and engaged, then people get to see Christianity for what it truly is. I mean, I think the story of a town in Minnesota, USA, stands out because the council, um, some bureaucracy, denied a um, nativity display being placed on a particular location in a central park, you know, for for fear of religious prejudice or whatever. And the townsfolk were just outraged. So they put um, nativity scenes on street corners, on shops, on rooftops, (laughs) on front lawns, thousands of them. And the mayor himself, I think, had seven nativities on his front lawn. And they became known actually for it. And it's a simple case of our freedoms are sometimes use it or lose it. And so we are Christians. We think the story of Jesus is important. Let's celebrate the cultural festival purposed for his birth.
and whether we do so with uh, with Cliff Richard or Mariah Carey, that's you know that's that's, that's just denominational differences, perhaps. Dave, hey, hey, appreciate the work that you do. If, if people wanted to find out more, um, altogether.co.nz, and and look, there's there's lots of information and inspirational stories there. Thanks for what you do, Dave. Thanks for being on the program today. Absolutely fantastic, Andrew. Thank you.